How's it going fam? It's Erica with Not Your Average GDC, and today we're just gonna do a pocket dump, talk knives a little bit, hang out. Uh, this is gonna be a totally improv video. I don't really have a topic other than the pocket dump. I just got home from work actually. Um, it's like 11 o'clock at night. Uh, half of the week I work 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. So I just got home. So this is like my five o'clock hour, which means knives and beer. Uh, tonight we're doing a sip and flip with this psychedelic love triple berry sour popsicle ale. It's not going to focus, go figure. This is a really good one. This is actually probably my, my favorite ale, uh, my favorite sour ale. Um, yeah, so this is raspberry, blackberry, and blueberry. Um, 6%. Really good. Somebody very, very special to me got these for me. They know what I like. So they got me a, a couple four packs. So that's what we're going to be sipping. I'll crack that open once it's done. Um, resting for a second. I had to roll it around because it has some sediment in there. What are we, what are we flipping? We'll do the flip first. Native five lightweight. Sorry for the poor lighting. Like I said, it's, you know, 11 o'clock at night and there's glare over there from the, the lights, but whatever, we're going to just chat knives. Um, so we're, we're flipping native five lightweight. Love this thing. Oh, let me show you guys what I just got. Anthony, the guy that did the regrind on this, he sent me this strop and it did indeed work just like he said it would. So Anthony did the regrind on this. I will try to put his contact information in the description below for you guys. He does really good regrinds. I really like him. Fletcher from All Things Knives has also worked with him. Really good guy. He did the regrind on this Rex 45, decked it out, fully modded it, and I was having trouble, as you guys know, with stropping this back. Uh, I think my strops are just too supple for this steel. This is really fucking hard. And Anthony was like, oh, let me just send you one of my basswood strops. I load it uh, with the two and the 0.5. And he said that that should absolutely, you know, help you out. And um, it, it did, you know. It did. Oh my gosh, the person that got me the beers just texted me. How ironic. The universe is weird. Um, yeah, so this works really well. I The moment I got home, I unboxed this, tried it out, instantly put a razor edge on this. That's exactly what it needed, was just something harder. So this is a really nice little piece. Very excited about that. I used the two. I didn't use the 0.5, but um, yeah, that worked really well. Let's crack this bad boy open. I, I need this after today, man. Today was a... A long day. Cheers to you guys. Hopefully you're sipping on something good. Wow. That is delicious. Okay, so we've got the Native 5 Lightweight. Obviously with that we have Delica 4 in K390. That's going up against the Native 5, so that's the duo and then i did just post a video about the gec bullnose in 1095 so that was in the pocket today as well i'm also kind of throwing this into the text test mix because i want to make sure that i have all my info together for if modern tool steels are outperforming in, in a great deal old school tool steels I really want to get a lot of data on that and, and make sure that I can either debunk or not debunk the myth of 1095 being soft and um, out of date. So we've got this bad boy sporting a fresh, crispy edge, courtesy of me, myself, and I. So that is in the pocket, too. And um, what else do we have? We've got... Plain Jane bar per usual. Okay, actually wicked funny uh, story about this. So um, over the weekend, went out with all the girlfriends. 
and we went to a bar where the people kept like locking the bathroom door from the outside like they'd go to open the door and lock the door on accident and then the door would close and there's nobody in there and we all have to piss because we're drinking too much and nobody can get in because the door is locked and it they were those um like l-shaped handles with uh the big fat um flathead lock on the outside like super easy to unlock if you have a, a flathead or a penny or something right so every, everybody's standing in front of the door and they're trying to get the waitress's attention there are only two waiters or whatever working understaffed they can't get to the bathroom yet so everyone at the table <laughs> looks at me and i'm like i'll go save the day so i literally go up like get through this little crowd of people and i just go up to the door use my plain jane bar unlock the bathroom door and walk away and everyone just like they're like what the heck does she work here <laughs> it's so funny so save the day with this bad boy was really easily able to uh unlock that bathroom door so people could go pee that's important when you're drinking um we do have the kenepix we're gonna call them kenepix today pliers cobra pliers um same old same old guys i mean when it's good why change it up Got these in a leather slip, right in the pocket. Frickin' love those things. Um, I've got in my watch pocket, Cadet. And my Surefire Titan. Wallet never changes, so you guys already know. Oh god, the beer burps are already starting. Failsafe goods, Sidewinder, never changes, ever. Best wallet I've ever used in my entire life. I also have a bandana, notebook, which I really need to switch out because this one's just totaled completely, <laughs> it's completely curved from my bootay. And the pen to go with that is the Tactile Turn Mini Slim Bolt Action pen, I think it is. Really nice little pen. Really, really nice. Super durable so far. And then I have Chapstick. And I've been carrying this um, little gold crucifix in my pocket. I wore this for like almost 10 years on my chain here. And it, I fucking broke it off a couple weeks ago on accident. I've I've never taken this off. Ever since I got it, I've never taken it off. And it had this crucifix on it. And um, I, I because I never take it off, it literally wore through the loop and just snapped one day when I was changing my clothes. So I just threw it in my pocket. It's like a good luck charm. Um, I, I never go anywhere without... A crucifix or a cross or anything i i even have one you know tattooed on myself i never go anywhere without it it's just a it's just a thing um so this has been in my pocket too until i get a new one to to put on my chain to replace that at some point but that's all that was in the pockets today um i am going to be switching up some of these tool systems within the next few weeks because i have some stuff coming in um, a while ago I mentioned that I had a Tale of Knives belt sheath, and it used to hold, like, a, a larger flashlight, like, way thicker than this, and then my Spirit X from Victorinox. And I, I, man, I used that for a really long time, and then I started having hip problems from it, remember? Um, it was, like, the weight of it, I think, was pushing into my side and it was really bothering my back and my hips. So I completely threw out the belt sheath for a while. And um, Justin from Engineer's Perspective did the same thing. He was having the same issue where he was just having hip issues. And uh, he tossed the belt sheath and it, you know, healed up. Wouldn't, wouldn't you know. So 
I haven't been carrying my Spirit X because I have nothing to put it in. It's just way too heavy to throw in the pocket, right? It's freaking heavy. So I've been pairing up these, these pliers here with a Swiss Army knife and using that as my moldy tool set. But I, I wanted to be able to carry my Spirit X again at some point. So um, I do have a Tale of Knives sheath on the way that is just literally for the multi-tool. It's not like the... My other sheath is like this long in total and it like rides around your back and you put like a big flashlight and a, you know, decent sized multi-tool in it. I think it was just too big. I think it was just too long and pulling into my back too much. Whereas this other sheath that's on the way, it's, it's literally just, it's only the size of the multi-tool. That's it. So much smaller um, area. And I'm going to probably ride it closer to the front of my body. That's something I couldn't do with that old sheet. It was too long. So I'm going to take that other one and try to like put it on the front of my body and see if that works and start carrying my Spirit X again. Probably switch up the, um, the, the Swiss Army knife that goes with it. Just try a couple of carry options for multi-tools. And... I do have a slip on the way for this because I would like to continue carrying this and testing it. And I just, um, one thing about these traditional knives, you can't take these apart really, like unless you're super skilled, but there's no way I'm going to do that. So I would really like to keep this clean, like keep debris from riding into the pivot area and stuff, you know, um, get, keep dirt out of there and hair. So I do have a little leather, uh, like a cheaper leather slip from Hitch and Timber on the way for this. And I'll probably use this and the Spirit X together. Um, obviously we're gonna finish the testing with our, with our other two knives, but just moving forward into February, once these are done, I have to pick um, a, a different test knife and I'll probably just still ride the traditional in a leather sheath and the Spirit X on my belt. So yeah, th uh, that's exciting. I'm really excited about that little strop that I showed you guys at the beginning of the video. It worked really well, <laughs> like instantly. I, I cannot believe that the only reason I couldn't get like the hair popping edge on this was because I didn't have a, uh, a, a thick enough or a um, hard enough strop. Crazy. So I'm really excited about that. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of do a little pocket dump with you guys and talk about some quick future plans, share a beer, you know, check in. Obviously this won't be uploading tonight when I'm recording this because I'm at the campers, we have no Wi-Fi or anything. Uh, this will upload who fucking knows when, but you will know that at one point I was in enjoying a beer in spirit with you guys and talking knives. <laughs> so I'll see you guys on the next video. Go use your shit, learn how to sharpen your knives, take care of yourselves, and I will see you on the next video. I love you all very much. God damn, that's some good beer. Damn it. Damn it.